The basketball season came to a close last week in Boise for the Montana Grizzlies as UM made the semifinal round of the Big Sky Conference Tournament but fell to Northern Arizona. It was a disappointing end for the Grizz who were beginning to peak in the month of February. This is my third, my third year now and each, each time it's gotten harder. I think we did get better towards the end of the year and that is possibly a positive to take but right now it's pretty hard to look at it like that because there was a lot of belief in that locker room that we could go and get this done right now anything other than going and winning a championship feels like a failure. Montana's season was another roller coaster. UM had a bumpy run in a tough non-conference slate before finishing strong heading into conference. From there, Big Sky play also started rocky at 3-6 and six before the Grizz won seven of their final eight league games. The Grizz bid farewell to their lone senior in Mac Anderson, a player whose impact at UM was exemplified by his passion for the program throughout his career. I, I wanted that championship for him so badly. He's given his all to the program and like people don't know, but he's been hurt all year. He's been hurt, like, fighting through stuff. Like, people don't see that. But there's days he can't, can barely walk, let alone play. And he rocks up on game day and he toughs it out and he finds a way to play for us because this means something. Already there's been movement with the Grizz roster as starting guard Lonel Martin Jr. announced his entry into the transfer portal earlier this week. But the Grizz are set to return breakout star Anand Moody next year as well as the likes of Josh Bannon, Brandon Whitney, Deshaun Thomas, and Lalu Oki, which should give them depth and experience should they not get hit too hard by transfers. Well, we're going to have some hard conversations when this thing ends in terms of areas of growth and what we can do to get better to make sure this doesn't happen next year. And the guys that commit to that are the ones going to help us be successful. But expectations are always high for any UM program. And the Grizzlies haven't been to a championship game since 2019 and were swept by the Bobcats for the first time since 2010. Do we want more? Yes. Do we set our goals higher? Yes. And that's what's special about being at the University of Montana as opposed to some other places is that there's teams that may get one postseason win and they feel that they've arrived and for us it's, it's it's trying to get to that final night and we've been there quite a few times our plan is to continue to get there so we're gonna have to buckle down and figure out how to get there next year reporting in missoula kyle hansen mtn sports